So in Keyword XP, you can search for suggested keywords that people are actually searching for right now. So these are keywords that are actually trending. And any keywords that appear in this search result mean that people are actively searching on them right now. So for example, if I type in something like travel insurance and click on search, then these are the top most keywords that are searched on for travel insurance. So the top most phrases. And I can select different data centers, different parts of the world uh, to get different results that are specific to that area. So, for example, this is in Germany. People, are, funnily enough, are searching for travel insurance in Germany or Übersetzung, um, which is another keyword obviously focused on the German market. But not only that, if I reset this back to US as standard and click on travel insurance, if I click, double click on any of these, then it will drill down further into that specific phrase. So, travel insurance reviews opens up into all these more detailed travel insurance reviews and again you can see really in detail what people are actually searching for and you know just doing that one little search pulls back 212 results now of course what i can even do is ask it right at the beginning to drill down and get me everything it knows about travel insurance and now if i click on search you know it's going to go through everything and i end up 249 phrases all to do with travel insurance and these are again active phrases that people are actively searching on. Now I can highlight any of these or any few of these like this by holding down the shift key and just as you'd normally do with any other desktop application and look at the trends and the trends is really important because that way I can find out whether a keyword is going up or down of importance and you can see cheap travel insurance here is going down over time so less people are actually searching for cheap travel insurance than what they were you know a few years ago and this is quite important because this tells you that this probably isn't a keyword worth investing in whereas you know something further down like travel insurance AAA or Expedia travel insurance or expat travel insurance these are more consistent and in fact expat has a little lift towards the end there and it's a newer keyword so people are being much more focused on what they're searching for and this obviously has a bit more potential than just cheap travel insurance so that's all well and good and as I said you can drill down um, and you can search uh, multiple regions but not only Google you can also search for different types of keywords using different data sources. For example, if I search over Amazon, then now I'm going to get more topical words that are to do with buying things. So Amazon and eBay are more to do with e-commerce and they will come back more with things that people are actually looking for right now. So if I type in something like umbrella, for example, and search on eBay, you know, then, you know, umbrella softbox, umbrella rig, umbrella kit, uh, umbrella stroller. You know, these are the types of keywords that people search for on eBay. If I change to Amazon, you know, then I'm getting a similar type of result. So umbrella hat, umbrella holder, umbrella base, beach umbrella. You know, these are, you know, exactly the type of more buy or more e-commerce keywords that people are focusing on. And not only that, you can search over Bing, uh, Ask and YouTube too. So you've got the whole option of all different data sources there to search on. And you know, all you need to do to see the trend again is to click on any of these either individually um, or double click and drill down, highlight a group of words, click on the trends button and it will show you with these keywords actually worth focusing on. And you can see here these spiky uh, things are probably due to seasonality. Okay, so I expect most people are looking for beach umbrella anchors in the summertime and hence that's what the spike represents. Okay, so that's an overview into the Keyword XP suggest function.